endocrine treatment is the base for endocrine sensitive tumors uh, and we know that for a while. In fact, the first treatment that we know for active for breast cancer was uh, ovarian suppression to, to prime the ovarian function. And it was a standard of care in the uh, early 20, uh, early uh, last century. Right now, the question about if ovarian suppression, of, uh, su surprising ovarian function is effective when we have other treatments and adding ovarian suppression function to uh, these treatments could increase the activity and prevent relapses was the issue of a lot of trials in the past. They failed because bad designs. But in the last past 10 years, we designed two very important trials, the SOFT and the DEX trials, addressing specifically this question in a very well designed, so be sure that the answer could be yes or not, but it will be clear. And we have the data from these two studies. And the combination of both analysis shows that ovarian suppression with endocrine therapy is slightly superior to tamoxifen alone. That means that uh, there are some patients that could benefit from the combination Will a large number of patients can continue to be treated with tamoxifen alone. So what are the good candidates for the combination? That's the long discussion. Probably patients at high risk. So patients with the higher risk to relapse are the ones who have the higher chances to benefit from the combination. Again, with a second concern, is that toxicities are important, are not huge toxicities like chemotherapy, but are uncomfortable thinking that this treatment lasts for five years. So it's uh, uh, hot flashes, it's a weight gain, it's a loss of uh, sexual appetite. So those are things that will affect dramatically quality of life.